Piers Morgan has expressed strong disapproval of a newly unveiled statue of Queen Elizabeth II, calling it diabolical on social media. The bronze statue, created by Belfast artist Anto Brennan and displayed in Antrim Castle Gardens, has drawn a mixed response from the public. While some agreed with Morgan, criticizing the statue for not capturing the Queen's likeness, others found his reaction exaggerated, arguing that the statue does bear a resemblance to her. The debate led the local council to turn off comments on social media posts about the statue. Despite the controversy, the statue stands as a tribute to the UK's longest-serving monarch, with a larger monument set to be revealed in St James's Park in 2026. Piers Morgan's reaction to the statue of Queen Elizabeth II has ignited a broader conversation about public art and how it represents iconic figures. Many people were quick to side with the outspoken broadcaster, expressing disappointment with the statue's depiction of the late monarch. They pointed out that the sculpture does not capture her regal presence, with some going as far as calling it an eyesore and questioning the artist's choices. On the other hand, not everyone shares this view. Some have defended the statue, arguing that while it may not be a perfect likeness, it still honors the legacy of Queen Elizabeth II. For them, the importance of the statue lies more in what it represents than in its exactness. As one commenter noted, it's not about perfection, but about the tribute to her life and service. The debate reflects a broader issue with public memorials and statues, as art is often subject to personal interpretation. Deputy Mayor Paul Dunlop echoed this sentiment, stating that while opinions on the aesthetic may vary, what truly matters is the meaning behind the artwork.